Hello and welcome to the session. This session is a part of a series that we have planned which is titled Let's Learn by Reading. So we will be selecting a good article from a good source and we will see what the focus of that particular session will be. So like for today, the focus of the session is on vocabulary. So we pick up some words Let's pick up some challenging words from the, session, from the article. And I'll explain the words to you. And then I'll explain how if we apply the proper understanding of those words to the context, then how the context becomes much more meaningful for you. So this will highlight the importance of knowing the words for exams like GATT. So the article that I have selected today is taken from a research paper which is published, which was published in The Hindu. The title of the article itself is very interesting. It says COVID-19's own Groundhog Day. So Groundhog Day, Groundhog Day is a very interesting phrase. Groundhog Day has a reference to a ritual in Canada and some parts of the US where a groundhog when it from, comes out from the place of its hiding and if, we, if it sees no sun, then it goes back. When it goes back, then it, it uh, signifies that there will be six more weeks of winter. So this is a ritual which is held on 2nd February every year. So that is one reference for this title. Another reference is to a movie. There was a movie in 1993 where the protagonist got himself into a loop, into a loop in the sense that every day when he got up, he, he realized that the same day was unfolding again and again. And that day happened to be the Groundhog Day. So that is why the title of the film was Groundhog Day. So the protagonist understood how to come out of that loop and he, he found solution to his problem. But the current article says that COVID-19 has created a kind of loop for all of us and the same incident, same events are being played again and again and again. Okay, so we are caught in, in that Groundhog Day. From the title itself, we can learn a very interesting phrase that is Groundhog Day. So how can we uh, understand this phrase? Any series of unwanted happenings which keep on recurring, right? Again and again. Aisi koi bhi series, aisi koi si bhi ghatna hai, jo ek hi tarikhe se unfold hoti hai, right? Us, uske liye hum word use kar sakte hai, Groundhog Day. And another word that we can learn here is uh, illusion, okay? So the word that, uh, that I'm writing is illusion. I hope you people are ready with your pen and paper, whatever copies you maintain for your vocabulary and the words that are discussed during the course of this session, you will be writing them, writing the meaning and try to revise them as often as, as you can. So the first word that we get from the title of the article itself is illusion. So what is illusion? Illusion is an indirect reference to a particular uh, a particular event or character or something that is held in collective knowledge. Okay. So author kya zoom kar leta hai ki mujhe iska source batane ki zarurat nahi hai kyunki sare logo ko ye cheeze pata hongi. Something that is mentioned because the author thinks that it's known to everybody. So for example, if I say uh, all, all these difficult competitive exams, they prove to be a waterloo for most of the aspirants. So there is an indirect reference to Napoleon and the battleground where he lost his battle. Jaise maine bola ke wo, wo banda itna violent hai ya itna, itna zada illegal activities mein involved hai. Aisa lagta hai wo amare colony ka pushpa hai. Right? So that will become an illusion or indirect reference to the movie. Anybody who has seen the movie will be able to connect. So that is what illusion is about. Let's, let's proceed with the article. The second line of the article says the pandemic. Pandemic to for, for a cut see these unfortunate events which have been unfolding for last two years. Everybody knows what is the meaning of pandemic. But let's understand how pandemic is derived. There is a root pan. There is another root dem. Right? Pan means all. Dem means people. So something that has become as widespread as if everybody is getting impacted by it, affected by it, that is called pandemic. Okay, so I can also use pandemic in some other context. For example, if I say in India, the love for 
uh, cricket is pandemic so we have a pandemic love for cricket that means everybody in india is supposed to love cricket is expected to love cricket and usually they do okay so that is another application of the word pandemic now one more word that we find here is irrevocably okay anything that is done irrevocably is done in a manner that cannot be reversed or that cannot be changed right so irrevocable laws mentioned in the constitution so unless there is a proper amendment done the laws cannot be changed they are irrevocable okay now let's see what the line means the pandemic has irrevocably and fundamentally fundamentally in a very elemental sense in a very basic sense changed our perception of time and space so this is the main tenor of the article right what is meant by tenor i happen to use a word tenor here so tenor let's let's understand tenor is the main uh, main main flow of idea or or the main opinion that is carried throughout the article that will be its tenor now the article starts with as we spend nearly 2 years in the cavernous belly of covid 19 okay in the cavernous belly of covid 19 one day endlessly coalescing into the other we sometimes lost track of the time or the space we inhabit so what what the sentence means is let's let's first understand the words given cavernous is something which is very huge something which is very deep right something which is immense so like if i say cavernous belly of covid 19 why what is the analogy of belly it has taken the lives of so many people as if as if it has swallowed the lives of so many people so that's why it's a huge belly we are imagining that's a metaphor being created and it it is cavernous like a cave so something that is big but the focus is on its sides so if i say the cavernous waiting halls of the new museum so it can accommodate so many people and that's why it has lots of space and that's why it is being called cavernous as we spent nearly 2 years in the cavernous belly of covid 19 let's write down the word cavernous cavernous is something which is huge or something which is extremely big or something which is extremely spacious okay we sometimes um, there there is one more word that we can uh, find meaning of one day endlessly coalescing into the other endlessly coalescing what is the meaning of the word coalesce coalesce is to merge okay so like india is a country where multitudes of people live and their cultures and their conventions they coalesce into one harmonious uh, mixture Okay, so coalesce is to come together, merge, unite. That is the meaning. We we have forgotten how to differentiate one day from another. That is the seamless coalescing of one day into another. So when this is happening, we sometimes lost track of the time or the space we inhabit. That's the main tenor of the article that we have lost the perception of space and time. in regular conversation or what was regular at that point of time and was possibly conducted online we rood about the darkness the world has plunged into so the meaning of rue rue is a verb right and rue means feel regret about something so when you rue the loss of something that means you're feeling sorry for it we are we rood about the darkness the world has plunged into plunge to fall suddenly okay to fall suddenly so something that has gone down plunge also comes in an idiom take the plunge so when somebody takes the plunge what is the meaning after maybe he or she has been contemplating to, to do something and then finally when they decide to do that particular thing we say that they have taken the plunge right so a girl and a boy who have been courting for let let's say 3 4 years when they finally decide to get married we we say that they have taken the plunge right they have they've um, decided to do that particular thing so the world has plunged into and how for a man a social animal company was everything and perish he would perish destroy he would without it so basically what what the particular paragraph is saying is 
we for last two years we have lost track of time and we have felt sorry about how man has lost company man being a this social animal has lost it his company and we are sad about it we regret the fact okay so how many words could we learn from this much of reading one is illusion illusion is indirect reference to something the tenor of something is the main flow of idea Cavernous is something that carries lots of space and that's why huge and immense. Coalesce is to merge or combine. Rue about something is to regret about something. Take a plunge is to start doing something. If something plunges, then it's going down. It's falling very sharply. Okay. So these are the words that we have picked up from the first paragraph of the article. Let's go to the second paragraph. So conversations also often centered around speculation. Speculation, guess about what day of week or month of the year it was. See how it is being again said that we've lost the track of time because every day seamlessly coalesces into another. So we cannot differentiate one day from another, right? And you you will agree with me when I say that sometimes when we are into extended holidays. है ना हमें हमें पता नहीं चलता है कि आज संडे है या मंडे है या ट्यूसडे है क्योंकि एवरी डे लुक्स सेम सो दैट्स वाई द ऑथर इज सेइंग सिंस द लाइफ हैज कम टू अ स्टैंड स्टिल दैट्स वाई वी आर नॉट एबल टू डिफ्रेंशिएट एंड दैट्स वाई वी लॉस ट्रैक ऑफ टाइम subjects that pre covid would have been easily dismissed with quoting the calendar so we we could have easily found or identified the time or located the time but now it it's really really difficult while it is true that the passage of time cannot be alienated let's pick up another word alienated so when something is alienated something is detached okay removed so if if something is alienated then i would say that um make something or someone feel isolated or estranged right so ek to alien se meaning aata hai theek hai so alien alien is the main noun alien se humne jo a verb banaya that is alienated so alienate is to remove in this context it is to remove or to detach so what is being alienated the passage of time cannot be detached from the perception of humans alienate can also be understood in a different way nexalism is a big problem in india because nexalists have always felt as a community alienated from the mainstream okay so alienated means isolated in this sense it means isolated or estranged right so a strange not part of the main community and that's why sometimes they turn unfriendly so now the word has a negative connotation in this context so when you feel isolated you become unfriendly or hostile or indifferent right so jaise jaise novak djokovic ka ek controversy hua tha australian open mein Uh, every everybody was required to be vaccinated and they had to produce their certificates novak djokovic sings he um he he belongs to that faction which is against vaccines he did not go for the vaccine and that's why he was deported from australia so the entire tennis community said that novak djokovic was being alienated when you work from home right It, working from home alienates us from a uh, from our fellow human beings so that are different usages of alienate let's come back to the passage while it is true that the passage of time cannot be alienated from the perception of humans we cannot detach the passage of time from how we perceive it how as humans we see it we understand it but this time it was different this is what the author is saying it was black and white dystopia is very prominently differentiated in two things there is no gray area so it it was clearly a dystopia very very easily it was to be seen as a dystopia so what is dystopia dystopia is something that is opposite of utopia okay so utopia is 
इज एन आइडियलिस्टिक सिचुएशन ऐसी चीज़ जो फैंटेसी में एग्जिस्ट करती है ऐसी चीज़ जहाँ पे सब कुछ अच्छा होता है जहाँ पे हर इंसान खुश है हर इंसान के पास पैसा है कोई क्राइम नहीं है राइट right? सो so, ऐसा ऐसा सिविलाइजेशन जो हमारे कल्पना में एग्जिस्ट करता है विच इज़ द गोल्डन सिविलाइजेशन वेर एवरी थिंग इज गुड दैट इज कॉल्ड यूटोपिया सो ऑपोजिट ऑफ यूटोपिया इज डिस्टोपिया वेर नथिंग इज गुड ओके एवरीथिंग इज डिसंटीग्रेटिंग एवरीथिंग इज डिजेनरेटिंग देर इज लॉट्स ऑफ क्राइम देर आर नो सोसाइटल रूल्स पीपल आर किलिंग ईच अदर सो ऑथर सेज दैट दिस वॉज ब्लैक एंड वाइट डिस्टोपिया द काइंड ऑफ एनवायरमेंट दैट वॉज क्रिएटेड बाई एक्सटेंडेड लॉकडाउन एंड इन्फेक्शन एंड डिसीज इन सफरिंग एंड डेथ दैट लुकड लाइक अ क्लियर डिस्टोपिया ओके सो डिस्टोपिया इज Uh, a civilization which is marked by you know we can say great suffering right a civilization which is marked by great suffering and injustice some perceive time as racing across on roller blades for others it seem to have completely come, come to a grinding halt okay so depending on what 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 faction of society you belong to you were sometimes um some people who were very short of time like we are talking about the health workers we are talking about people who were who were who were involved in well being of other people right so who, who were doing the volunteer work for them time never stopped it was it was like uh it was racing across on roller blades for other people who were who were stuck into lockdowns who were stuck at their homes who were doing nothing who were going nowhere they had no societal contact for them time came to be a grinding halt so never has the passage of time be different or or maybe alienated from the perception of humans lekin ye jo experience tha ye bahut zyada subjective tha kyunki ye hamari situation pe डिपेंड करता था हम जिस सिचुएशन में हैं उस हिसाब से टाइम हमारे लिए पास हो रहा था कभी जल्दी कभी बहुत धीरे ओके लेट्स मूव ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट वन नाइदर टाइम नॉर स्पेस ऑफ व्हाट वी वर यूज टू सो वी वर यूज टू टाइम यू नो ब्रैकेटिंग टाइम इन टू डेज इन आवर्स इन प्रॉपर एक्टिविटीज बट देन दैट हैड ऑल halted the space was a uh, perception of space had also changed so something has indeed irrevocably changed irrevocably let's again understand what is irrevocably we saw the word from the title irrevocably is something that cannot be reversed so it it will not be the same again it cannot go back to what it was right irrevocably cannot be reversed fundamentally with the covid-19 pandemic right so what has changed that the author is going to again explain in the coming paragraph so let's see what the author says how the landscape changed okay how the landscape changed This is what researchers from IIT Madras have tried to qualify to an extent in their recent paper on the COVID-19 crisis. Chronotope. Chronotope. Chronotope is a word that comes from literature. How a particular time is represented, a particular era is represented in the literature of that time. That is called chronotope. Like we are in a pandemic chronotope. That means whatever literature will be written. now whatever movies will be made this particular pandemic will form a proper form a prominent theme okay that is the chronotope the pandemic as matter metaphor and memory so this is the name of the research paper as they attempt to traverse this cavernous landscape now what is the meaning of traverse to pass to move across we we had to take help of a local guide to traverse through the vast territory of the desert right so traverse is to pass through so as they attempt to traverse this cavernous landscape let's write down traverse as well so another word that we have picked up from the article is traverse traverse is to pass or to move over
right so <laughs> as they attempt to traverse this cavernous landscape where time seemed to be frozen and space immaterial so the same tenor see we have lost track of time and space we are in because of these lockdowns because of the emotional and mental impact of the pandemic so as they attempt to traverse this cavernous land landscape abhishek parve and meren simiraj naturally seek insights from that rarefied conjunction between science and philosophy okay now let's understand the word rarefied rarefied is something uh, that that is thinning in the sense that if i say when we go to higher altitudes when we are doing mountain climbing and we reach higher altitudes then we know that that the air is not the air that we breathe in when we are at the plains so air becomes rarefied right air becomes rarefied thin ho jati hai us sense mein we use the word rarefied now rarefied can also be used in another sense so for example if i say anything that is distant from the lives of common people anything which is exclusive anything that that is elevated okay anything that is very very esoteric common logo ki life se alag right common logo ki life se unke issues se unke interest se upar theek hai us cheez ko hum bolenge rarefied let's write it down rarefied ठीक है सो इफ समथिंग इज रेरीफाइड वन मीनिंग ऑफ इट इज थिन ठीक है द रेरीफाइड एयर अनादर मीनिंग ऑफ रेरीफाइड इज समथिंग दैट इज एक्सक्लूसिव ओके समथिंग दैट इज एक्सक्लूडिव एक्सक्लूसिव और समथिंग दैट इज एलिवेटेड समथिंग दैट इज पुट एट अ हायर लेवल राइट एक्स्ट्रा ऑर्डनरी बियॉन्ड द ऑर्डनरी सो इफ आई से शी वॉज involved in rarefied scholarly pursuits so if she was involved in rarefied scholarly pursuits matlab aisi cheezon mein study mein busy thi jo cheeze common interest se upar hai usse superior hai okay so if i say the 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 rarefied atmosphere of academic life or maybe if i say she moved in rarefied circles so if she moved in rarefied circles that means a very selected group of people okay so i hope the word is clear enough another word that this rarefied qualifies is conjunction conjunction means association so from that rarefied conjunction between science and philosophy so this is an unusual coming together of science and philosophy because we are forced to think about different aspects of life right and this is what they have presented in their research paper this rarefied conjunction very unusual extraordinary conjunction between science and philosophy okay so let's see what else the passage says our idea of space and time has changed profoundly what is the meaning of profoundly something extremely profoundly is a degree adverb so something which is extremely or greatly or deeply uh, done so changed profoundly that means changed extremely extremely so profound is profoundly is extremely Okay, or deeply. And naturally, this is going to have a definite psychological and social impact, right? So, हमारा जो idea है space का और time का हम जैसे उसको perceive करते थे जैसे हम उसको अभी तक समझते थे because of the pandemic that has changed and since it has changed, this change will have a deep psychological and social impact it has changed the fundamental nature of human relationships and how we now perceive what was normal or routine so our idea has fundamentally changed and what we considered to be normal and routine has now been uh, has now been altered चेंज हो गया किस चीज से हमारे परसेप्शन हमारा टाइम और स्पेस का परसेप्शन चेंज होने से 
Okay. So he and his co-author both belong to IIT Madras. The lockdown that forced individuals to stay confined. What is the meaning of confined? Confined means restricted. Confined. Confined means when something is limited or something is restricted. Okay, so the knowledge of current generation is mainly confined to YouTube videos and other videos on internet. Okay, because the reading habit is sadly limited or confined to textbooks. Okay, so that is how we use the word. So the lockdowns that forced individuals to stay confined at home, either singly or in fam family units, it is the familiar quotidian and it's hamdra. It is money mita dena. Okay? Quotidian, anything that is that happens every day. So if you say quotidian fever, malaria is quotidian fever, that means every day there will be temperature. If you say quotidian traffic, to daily jom ko traffic milta hai, ghar jate samay, office jate samay, that is quotidian traffic. And humdrum is humdrum. If if I pick up the word humdrum, then humdrum is something which which is lacking variety, something that is very mundane. है ना ऐसी कोई चीज जो रोज होती है रिपीटेटिव है पार्ट ऑफ आर रूटीन दैट विल बी हम ड्राम सो जो डेली हमारी हमारी लाइफ का पार्ट था जो डेली जो चीजें हम रूटीन में करते थे उन चीजों को इरेज कर दिया है क्योंकि हम कंफाइन हो गए हैं कहां पर घर पर सो वी हैव बीन कंफाइंड एट होम राइट एंड द कोटीडियन एंड इट्स हम ड्रम हैज बिन इरेज बेसिकली आर रूटीन हैज बिन इरेज Replacing it with a feeling of time running on loop. So we are caught in that particular loop. This is this is what we uh, I was talking about when I explained the title to you. The equivalent of the Bill Murray film of 1993, Ground Groundhog Day. Uh, the the person the protagonist gets stuck on a single day that repeats over and over only for him. In a fantasy, solutions are relatively easy. So in the movie, the person was. Uh, able to come out of that loop. The protagonist could figure out how to break out of the loop, right? After several repeats of the same day. The pandemic arguably precipitated the world's Groundhog Day. What is the meaning of precipitate? To, to, to cause an undesirable event to happen unexpectedly. So, world ka Groundhog Day ban gaya ye pandemic. Fir se vai ka vai, fir ek variant, fir dusra variant, fir tisra variant. Fir ek wave, fir dusra wave, fir tisra wave. Same things are being repeated on a loop. We have lost track of time and space. So, uh, I will cover the article till here. Then if you want, you can you can go to this article. It's, it's the Hindu Daily Edition. I'll give you a link. And then you can continue reading the article. So let's see how many new words we have um, we have understood. Um, let's find let's write down quotidian here. Something that is quotidian is something that is happening every day. And since it is happening every day, it's part of your routine. Okay? Something that is humdrum is boring, something that lacks excitement. Okay, something that is precipitated is to cause something undesirable to happen. Unexpected, right? So these many words we've learned from the article. Let's go through the words again. Once to revise, illusion is an indirect reference as I told you without mentioning the source. Okay. Tenor is the main, main idea that permeates the entire writing. Right? Cavernous is something which is huge or big or spacious. It has main focus on space. Coalesce is to merge or combine, come together, form one, one mass. 
um, rue about something is to regret or feel sorry about something. Plunge is to fall sharply. Okay. Alienate is to remove or detach or to make somebody feel isolated and hence increase his unfriendliness or hostility towards something. Dystopia is a civilization which is marked by suffering, pain, injustice, disorder, right? So it's the opposite of utopia. I, I've been talking about utopia. Utopia is the ideal golden civilization. Opposite of it is dystopia. Anything that is that happens irrevocable, irrevocably cannot be changed or cannot be reversed. Okay? It's once done, it's done. Traverse to, through something is to pass through something or move across something. So you can traverse a landscape. Rarified is extremely thin. So rarified atmosphere of the hills or something that is that holds a very distinguished position, elevated position, something that is um, beyond the ordinary uh, people's life that is rarified. Profoundly is extremely or deeply. So if I say uh, if I say philosophy is a profound subject, so profound is something which is very deep. Okay, confined is to limit or restrict. So if I have been confined to my home, that means I have been restricted. I cannot leave. Right, I am limited to that space. Quotidian something that happens every day. Hamdram that is boring and precipitate we've just discussed, right? So 16 words from this much of reading. Once again, please apply these words in the context and try to again revise the meaning. Try to make more sentences with these words and revise them maybe once or twice. And these are that these will be very valuable addition to your vocabulary. So thank you very much for joining me for the session today. I'll be happy if you can give me a feedback on today's session.